All right, uh, at Stuart Heights, we use a plethora of different microphones. I'm going to go over some of the different ones we use. This is an SM58 made by Shure. It's been around for years and years and years. You can watch videos from the 70s, uh, and, and this is the mic they'll be using. Probably be around forever. It's uh, the, pretty much the standard in the world of microphones. It's very solid, very durable. Um, it is the workhorse of the audio industry. This is an SM57. It's also a Shure mic. Same series. This has been around forever and ever and ever. This is an instrument microphone. It is uh, used for, you would always use this mic, SM57, to mic guitar amps, um, things of that nature. Sometimes an acoustic guitar, something like that, a uh, violin. Sometimes, though, uh, I prefer a little bit bigger diaphragm mic for uh, those instruments, but definitely for a guitar amp. This is the microphone I use at the Hickson campus. It's also a Shure. It's the Beta series, not the SM, but Beta 87. Um, this is a uh, condenser microphone. It's a little bit hotter. Uh, it has a little bit better, uh, in my opinion, it sounds a lot better than an SM58, uh, and I just prefer this microphone. But this is a condenser microphone. And then the last one over here, we use this to mic our orchestras with. It's an AKG C3000. Um, it's got some roll off on the back. We'll talk about that later. This would be considered a large diaphragm microphone. It's also a condenser. I want to talk about the difference in a condenser mic and a dynamic mic. These two mics are dynamic microphones. These two microphones are condenser microphones. What's the difference? Uh, they both work the same. They both have a diaphragm inside the microphone that basically acts like a, a drum. If you've ever used a stethoscope, you know that you got the, the drum part on the end and you put the other end in your ears. And as you press on that drum, that's what translates into some type of sound through sound pressures and all kinds of other stuff. A dynamic microphone strictly works off of the sound pressure that's coming into the mic. Uh, as the diaphragm moves, it translates through the microphone cable into the board, out of the board, and then on the other end, the speakers also have a diaphragm that moves the exact uh, way that it went in, and that's what reproduces the sound. Dynamic microphone, dynamic microphone, not as hot. This is a condenser microphone, condenser microphone. These, uh, they're called condensers because they require what we call phantom power. It's 48 volts. You'll see that on the board. It'll either be called phantom power or 48 volts. And uh, what that means is we're actually sending a powered signal to these microphones. They're actually electrified. Now the condenser just isn't floating there waiting for sound pressure to move it. It's actually electrified. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's just itching to be, uh, to be triggered. So it's a lot more sensitive. So this microphone requires phantom power. This microphone requires phantom power. They're called condensers, and they're a lot hotter. Some of our direct boxes on the stage are also phantom power. They require uh, phantom power. The Behringer direct boxes, they're silver. We have them at the Hickson campus and at the uh, Chattanooga campus. They're not going to work unless they have phantom power turned on or a 9-volt battery inside of the direct box. 